Welcome back. Let's bring in Dr. Darian, who's looking at a medical topic that I feel like a lot of us have pondered. Mm -hmm. He's got a demonstration for us, and here's our question. What are the telltale signs of a broken finger? It, this is so <laughs> common. People always come into the emergency room for a quick x-ray because they're not sure. Uh, some simple ways to understand is number one, if you have a change in shape of your finger or a deformity, you need to see a provider. Specifically, you should probably just come to the emergency room. You likely have either a fracture or a dislocation. If you have significant swelling or pain out of proportion, or if it just doesn't seem to get better by day two, three, four, then you should probably come in for an x-ray. But the most important thing is make making sure that you splint appropriately to reduce the risk of deformity, um, um, arthritis, and, and limited range of motion in the future. And how do you do that? Well, we, can, uh, well, we can get right into it. You know, I'm very excited about this <laughs> because I've never had real props. And so I just brought some simple things that I think everyone should have in their house. It includes things like adhesive tape that is relatively waterproof, and then also simple splint material, which can be as simple as a popsicle stick mm -hmm. or even a tongue depressor. And the simple way that you want to do it is that you want to make sure that your finger is placed, if you don't mind if I can use you as mm -hmm. an example, in the appropriate position. You can place that popsicle stick or that tongue depressor, either let's say that this is your index finger and that's the one we're concerned about. You can place it right over the palm surface and then you want to apply that tape above and below the injury and that helps to keep it stable. Another way that you can do it is if you just simply put that piece of hard material between two fingers oh, and, and tape both, the fingers. And tape oh, both okay. together. And it's really simple. Again, you want to make sure that you just tape it so that your finger stays in the appropriate position. After you tape it, you want to check to make sure what we call capillary refill, you've got good blood flow so tight, that it's too not tight. too tight. <laughs> I've definitely been a victim of tying a splint a little too, too tight, tight on myself and woken up with a painful blue finger. So don't do what I did. You don't um, want to lose the finger. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, and this so, is to make sure that it heals properly. Absolutely. It's simple. It's as simple as making sure it heals properly. Uh, you know, it, it takes about four to six weeks on average for bones to heal. And the most important thing is making sure that that bone is in the appropriate position. Otherwise, you're going to develop a callus and deformities and possible arthritis later on in life. And our hands are so important. And I think many people underestimate that. The number of people walking around with crooked fingers. <laughs> I can I can name a few. Maybe yeah, a couple on our staff. Yeah, maybe I, on, I wasn't going to call out names, but you're absolutely correct. Some people that might have been benefited from a splint a little bit longer mm -hmm. ago. <laughs> All right, Doctor, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And you can send us your health questions right here at ABC GMA 3. Send them on in. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.